that are available. This kit includes three crimpable butt connectors, three clear heat shrink tubes, and one large black heat shrink tube. Begin by marking the wire's outer jacket where the butt joints can be crimped in place with a clear heat shrink tube on each individual strand of the wire. Don't cut off any more of the jacket than needed to place on the clear heat shrink tubing and butt connectors. The black heat shrink tubing will need to seal to the wire's outer jacket in the final step of the splicing. Be careful not to damage the insulation on the individual wires when you are removing the outer jacket. Once you've removed the outer jacket from the individual wires, you'll want to mark and cut the insulation back far enough to fasten a crimpable butt connector to the exposed copper wire of each individual strand. I shot a lot of this video indoors because of rainfall outside, but now it's time to get back out there and get some work done. First you slip the large black heat shrink tubing over the entire wire, then place on your clear heat shrink tubing on each individual strand. I have indeed crimped all the butt connectors and now we will splice in the other line. Now everything is ready for the heat shrinking. You'll want to be easy with the heat and flame till you get a feel for this. Uh, you can always add more heat, but you can't take it away if you burn the thing up. Start in the middle, you will see the tubing start to shrink down. So move away from that area when it's shrunk. And then you will see like an inside liquid start to form and move to the outside of the tube. Once it has reached the outside of the tube, you're finished. Slide the large black heat shrink tubing up over everything. Now when I do this, you will start in the middle, but don't worry so much about the middle being really, really tight. What's gonna matter here is keeping water out at both ends. Once again, you can't see with this black tubing. It's like a two-part tubing. One is like an outer casing, and the other actually turns to liquid, seals everything up real good, and then dries. And that's what's important there. Here's another demonstration on the other side of the wire I'm splicing together. It's a little bit darker and you can see it a little bit better. You can see that outer casing shrink and the liquid actually start to form and run throughout the inside of the tube. It's that liquid sealing on the wire that's really important. Don't over shrink everything.
power has been restored.